Good morning students. So students, today we will discuss about creative writing. You know what creative writing is? Creative writing is a way to express your feelings, thoughts and emotions in an imaginative manner. It means whatever you feel, think and visualize, you can write it down in an imaginative manner. And this is called creative writing. You should visualize, you should feel and then you can write it down. You know students, if you have to write creative writing, you should use your five senses to write a creative writing. And what are these five senses? These are taste, hear, touch, smell and sight. It means whatever you see, whatever you hear, whatever you smell, whatever you taste and whatever you feel, you can write those things when you write a creative writing. You should use these senses. You should use your eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin means feeling and then you can write a very effective and, and a very impactful creative writing. Okay students? So this is how we will write a creative writing today. So now let's see what is the topic of creative writing. The topic is world of animals. Do you love animals? Yes, very good. Everyone loves animals. They are the most beautiful gift of the nature. As you all can see, so many animals who, which live in forest. Okay, so today we have to write a very, a very good creative writing on the topic world of animals. So students, I'll discuss few points on this topic and then you will write a creative writing but students please remember whenever you write a creative writing you should use your senses okay so as you all know that our mother earth is home of millions of animals there are so many animals live in the earth okay so first of all you will write the the, the earth is full of millions of animals the earth is home of many animals now kinds of animals you know students there are basically three types of animals first is pet animals pet animals are those animals which are kept as pets in the homes some uh, some of you also keep animals as your pets like goat parrot rabbit okay they are called pet animals second is domestic animals you know Domestic animals are very useful to us. They provide us many things. They are very beneficial to us. Third is wild animals. You know students, wild animals are very dangerous. They can't live with us. They live in forest. Okay, like lion, elephant, tiger. Okay. Now the second point is dwelling place. Now students, use your sense organs what can you see where can you find your an find the animals where do they live the animals live in forest okay we find animals in the forest the dwelling place is forest now third here you can use your ears suppose if you have entered the forest what sounds can you hear when you enter the forest when you enter the forest you can here chirping of birds yes and sometimes um, sometimes we hear some scary sounds too like we can hear the roar of lion yes oh is it so scary isn't it so here you can use your senses now fourth is smell of flowers when you enter in forest, what can you smell? You can smell the beautiful fragrance of flowers and sometimes stinking smell of animals too. Sometimes some animals stink also. So you can use your sense. Which sense organ? Nose. Whenever you enter the forest, you can smell these things. Okay. Now fifth point, usefulness. You know students, animals are very useful to us. They provide us many things like cow gives us milk, sheep gives us wool, honeybee gives us honey, 
so these animals are very useful to us so in this point you can write what do the animals give us and how are they useful to us sixth point safety students though animals are very useful to us but still some human beings kill them some human beings cage them up for their own benefits it's very bad if someone cages you up would you like it no obviously at this time you all are in your homes you can't go out of your homes so are you liking it no you all want to go out so just think if you if you are kept in cage how would you like it so we should also not cage animals up we should always love them we should take care of them it's our duty to love animals we should not kill them or we should not hurt them they are very useful to us and they are the most beautiful gift of nature so we should take care of them okay students so on the basis of these hints you can write a creative writing you have to write five to six sentences on the topic world of animals please be particular about punctuation marks and spelling hope you must have understood thank you